Hey traders, welcome to Quant's app. My name is Varun and index trading has always been a popular topic among traders. Always has been, it always will be. Mainly because Bank Nifty is the world's most traded index. So everyone knows that the popularity is quite high, mainly due to its uh, volatile nature. It helps a lot of option buyers, but also it can trap those buyers. So option sellers also have plenty of opportunities there. Today, what we are going to do is we are going to identify a strategy or we are going to learn a strategy which helps you in monthly options. So weekly options is fine. Everyone likes to trade weekly options. But what about the people who are working professionals like me? We do not have the entire day for ourselves for trading. So for that, we like to go for some positional strategies. Now, positional strategies on indices on weekly expiries can be sometimes risky because there is the risk of time decay, right? Especially if you're going for a buying heavy strategy. Uh, and if you're going for a selling heavy strategy in that case, then you have a very bigger loss scenario, right? So you can uh, end up with a big loss. So that's why, you know, it's there's pros and cons on each side for option buying as well as option writing. So we are going to learn an option buying strategy or it can be an option uh, selling strategy, but mainly we are going to learn a directional trade setup on Bank Nifty, which you can trade on the monthly expiries. All right, so let us start. Uh, my name is Varun again and let's start here. So I am on the web app. This is web.quantsapp.com. Okay, so since I'm on desktop, so I have opened the web app. But if you are on any mobile platform, you can install the app from the app store itself. Okay, so the link will be in the description. It will be the first link in the description and you can follow through. Okay, so the first thing first I need to look at is the open interest scenario or participation inside nifty how do you track participation inside bank nifty okay i'm sorry i said nifty but it's bank nifty so you just go to the track section and inside track section you will find built up script symbol okay so just open built up script symbol this is a very effective tool when you are going for trend analysis so mainly since we are going for a directional trade we need to see whether a trend is being formed inside bank nifty so that is something that we'll analyze so what i like to do is i just like to go to future oi historical because inside futures i can see the historical built up data okay so built up for people who do not know it's a very simple concept where we correlate future price along with futures open interest so it's a very easy setup. Actually, it's a very easy to uh, use analysis, right? Analytic, it's a very easy data. So how you can analyze it, I'll explain, okay? So you can see that we have color coded everything, right? So we have a copyright for this view of the tool. So there are four particular colors. You can see the green color signifies long built up. The blue color signifies long unwinding. The red color signifies short and the yellow color signifies short covering, okay? What do these mean? Okay, so long built up means when the price is moving up and along with that, the open interest is also moving up. So it's an indication of fresh buying occurring inside Bank Nifty futures, okay? Or any futures for that matter. Similarly, long unwinding showcases buyers squaring off. So in long unwinding, you will see that open interest is decreasing and price is decreasing with it. So we know that new positions are not created. Instead, the existing positions have some activity. So how do you know whether there's buying or selling? When we correlate price. So if future price is falling down with future open interest, we call it as long unwinding or buyers squaring off. So existing buying positions are being squared off. Okay. Then we have red color, which signifies short built up. So short built up for people who do not know, it is when price decreases, but open interest increases. So it shows that new participation is occurring okay and due to it price is falling down so we know that there is fresh selling among all of those positions so we call it short built up and finally we have short covering which is signified as a yellow color so that means that uh, open interest is decreasing but price is increasing so we know that new positions are not being created so existing positions have some activity but since price is increasing, I know that more positions are on the long side. So that means that existing sellers are squaring off. That is the simplest idea that you can get. Now, 
whenever price moves we need to have a long and long unwinding cycle for bullish indication and a short and short covering cycle for bearish indication so like for example as of now you can see that majorly green and blue colors are dominant okay there are some yellow colors there are some red colors but majorly we have green and blue color okay so if there is green and blue color this clearly signifies that bank nifty is on a bull run which we have seen in the past few days okay so we can see that price moves up firstly okay then there is a slight dip now this slight dip is temporary how do i know that because open interest is decreasing so no new contracts are being added so this move does not have any strength so i know that bank nifty might be creating a bottom here after that again we can see that there is long built up so the height of bar signifies the quantum of open interest that is being added so here we can see there was a very big green bar that means a lot more long positions were created on that day okay after that you can see again there was slight fall right there were some falls uh, here there was uh, a short built up but i can see that the quantum of it is not that big i can see that you know it's not that big of a short okay and after that you can see again it is following a long and long and winding cycle you can actually see the absolute change as well so if you just want to see the change on each day you can check that as well okay so this is what is shown here based on the built up data okay this is quite useful actually whenever you use built up data it's always gives you some insight on where the trend is so as of now let's say if the trend is long and long and winding so what does that mean that means whenever i am entering a trade so it can be uh, on in the first half of expiry it can be in the second half of expiry whenever i am entering a trade i will only go for a bullish trade it does not matter what your other indicators are suggesting i will still only go for a bullish trade i will not enter any bullish any bearish indication in this scenario because i know the overarching trend is bullish so even if the market does fall it could be temporary it could be that bank nifty is creating new bottoms and after that it could again rise up so that is the case when it comes to built up okay so it's future oi built up now once you have identified a trend okay once you have identified a trend after that you need some confirmation on top of this right so for that i always recommend going towards put call ratio so you can just go to the search option and you can directly search pcr or you can manually go through it but if you just search for pcr you will find it much easier okay so oi pcr historical is something that i uh, normally use okay just open oi pcr historical so you will find the historical open interest data just make sure that you disable this modified oi pcr toggle you do not need it because we are just analyzing data we are not going for any sort of a trade assist we are manually analyzing the data right because at the end of the day whenever you analyze things manually it's always good for you okay here if we look at the lines there are two lines one is a yellow line and one is a green line okay now what does this signify okay so the yellow line is bank nifty's future price and the green line is its oi pcr or open interest put call ratio so what you have done on each day whatever on the closing basis or on the eod basis whatever the oi pcr value was after the bhav copy arrives this was something that was shown okay we have just plotted it in a simple chart now if we look closely you can clearly see that oi pcr is never trending right you can see that the yellow line is continuously moving up but the green line is always range bound it is never trending so that is one of the characteristics of oi pcr even if i select the data from let's say a past few months let's say if i select the data for a past few months i can see that the yellow line as usual is moving up but the green line is continuously non trending or oscillating now oi pcr has a positive correlation with future price that is something we already know so if open interest pcr or oi pcr if it increases that means it's a positive indication for the market if oi pcr decreases that means it is a negative indication for the market now how do we analyze bottoms and tops based on this so it is actually quite simple right uh, let's say if 
OIPCR is at its recent peak. That means OIPCR is going to revert from it or OIPCR will revert to its average because OIPCR is mean reverting. So these are essential tops that Bank Nifty might be forming. So let's take a couple of examples. Okay. Uh, I'll just zoom in a bit for you guys. All right. Let's just zoom in from here. Okay. Now I know this was the recent peak of OIPCR. I can see that this was the recent peak of OIPCR. From there OIPCR has actually uh, fallen down and with it Bank Nifty has also fallen down. Okay. Recently, so this is not recently, but just look at this instance. Similar top was created. Similar top was created kind of like OIPCR. Okay. So I am looking at this data on an EOD basis on 29th of April. Okay. On the next day, I will say, let's see what happens. So let's say on the next day, I see that OIPCR has reversed. Okay. Once OIPCR has reversed, I can execute my trade. So maybe on the 30th of April or maybe on the next day, maybe 31st of April or uh, 31st of April, I guess it was, uh, it, it was not there or uh, maybe it was on the weekend. So I'll maybe execute my trade on 2nd of May. After that, at that point, Bank Nifty's price was 49,388. Just look at what happened to Bank Nifty's price. Okay, Bank Nifty's price came down to 47,607. So that is how you can use OIPCR. So this was a bearish indication for a bullish indication. If you are looking for some bullish indications, you can look at these points, right? There was a bottom created here. There was a bottom created here. There was a bottom created here. So OIPCR always creates such bottoms, right? And you can hunt for those bottoms. You can always look out for such bottoms, which can help you in trading. Okay. So let's see. Let's have a look at this bottom. Okay. Uh, zoom out a bit. Okay, I don't want to zoom in a lot because I want to show you some examples, uh, maybe around here. Yeah, this would be sweet. Okay, so here I can see OIPCR has created a bottom and after that uh, OIPCR has come up. Recent bottom after that was here. Okay, so there was another bottom around here, around the same level I can see that OIPCR has created a bottom. Okay, now what will I expect the next day when OIPCR increases? I will enter a trade or whenever OIPCR shows a reverting tendency, I will enter a bullish trade. So next day, what happened? Next day, Bank Nifty actually came up. Okay. So Bank Nifty's uh, OIPCR increased. So maybe on the 17th, I would have created a trade. So 17th was holiday, 18th of April, I would have entered a trade and you can see that there was a very good bottom around there. Okay. So even if not a bottom, let's say if you entered a trade at the peak of here, you can see that Bank Nifty has actually moved up. So you are not just trading the breakouts, you are trading the reversals that are happening in the market. Now, let's look at the current example. Okay, the most recent example, uh, you guys will be uh, quite happy with this. Okay, I'll explain. So recent bottoms were around this level. Okay, if I just look at this level, I can see that the green line has created a few bottoms around this level around this particular level, right? There was a reversal from here, Bank Nifty moved up. There was a reversal from here, Bank Nifty moved up. Okay. It created a top. Now it has actually come down. Now again, it is near its bottom. So this is actually today's data, which is 8th of July, 2024. I can see that Bank Nifty has slightly fallen, slightly fallen from its peak or from its all time high. So Bank Nifty was, it was at its all time high. And from that it has fallen and OIPCR has created a bottom. What do you think will happen after this? You guys can just type it in the comments below and that is how you can use OIPCR for it. So it will help you with your entries. It will help you with your exits and for exits, as far as exits are concerned, you can look at the recent tops, the recent tops that Bank Nifty has created. So maybe this top or maybe this top. So if OIPCR reaches around these values, that is your target. You can just square off your position there or that can also be your stop loss. So a lot of times it happens that, you know, uh, OIPCR on the next day itself, it will shoot up. Market is still there. Bank Nifty is still there, but OIPCR will shoot up on the next day. So that is a clear indication that, you know, you have to just exit that position. So that is fine as well. So entry and exit is defined based on OIPCR. If you enter at the bottom of OIPCR, then you square off at the top of OIPCR. 
if you enter at the top of oi pcr then you enter at the then you exit at the uh, bottom of pcr that is how you can use it just make sure since the trend is overall bullish i can see that the overarching trend inside bank nifty is bullish with the help of built up i will only enter the bullish trades with the help of oi pcr now i will not go for any bearish trade as of now that is the you know general idea that normally people follow so this is how you can use it for your monthly expiries now one thing i would quickly like to touch up on is strategies right so i generally go with debit spreads and credit spreads so you can just go to the trading section and under trading section you will find uh, there is uh, we have options architect so options architect is our strategy builder it's a free tool okay so just open it up uh, you can just select bank nifty or any script that you want okay you can select the expiry so since i am trading a monthly expiry i will go for the monthly expiry which is 31st of july for bank nifty okay let's say i am going for a bullish trade and let's say i am on the first half of expiry which is the first 15 days of a monthly expiry then i will always go for a debit spread which is a bull call spread or on the bearish side a bear put spread these are the two strategies which are your debit spreads okay and let's say if i am on the second half of expiry let's say if i am on the second half of expiry which is the uh, next 15 days or the remaining 15 days of an expiry in that case i will go for some credit spread so credit spreads mean a bull put spread or a bear call spread so you can just click anywhere let's say if i want to go for uh, let's say i am currently in the first half of expiry which is 8th of july so i'll go for a simple bull call spread since i'm expecting bank nifty could go up so this is my skeleton of a strategy right this is a basic skeleton it is already suggesting that you go for a slightly expensive call option or the add the money call option and then you sell a slightly less expensive call option okay so you can just go and buy the add the money call option and just sell an otm call option so that will give you a theta protected strategy so theta protected strategy is always good for you whenever you are going for option buying strategies so let's say if i just go slightly above okay uh let's say if i go and i sell 53000 call option so this is what my strategy could look like okay so this is something that i would go for maybe increase slightly slightly maybe 53500 or something like that so it will give you a very good overall reward to risk as well right so that is it for me thank you so much for watching guys i know i do not explain a lot of trade assist features i am generally more of a hands on kind of a guy so i like to do my own analysis instead of uh, you know relying on some buy and sell signal so that is what i have showcased i hope you guys enjoyed if you need any help there is the helpline number on the top right corner for you or if you want to install concept or use concept we have a link in the description itself thank you so much for watching guys make sure to subscribe i will see you guys very soon in the next video thank you so much